An extremely messy, yet admittedly entertaining ride. Sylvester Stallone rocks as always, showing he still has the grit and tenacity to nail these action roles while providing a bit of pathos along the way. The premise is cool, but way underutilized. Samaritan wastes entirely too much time getting to the point, avoiding answers and focusing on a kid who makes every terrible decision imaginable. His performance is fine, but the undercooked screenplay does not do him any favors. It's definitely a case of let's use every cliche in the book with kids with iffy home lives to further the plot. That that being said, I did appreciate his relationship with Stallone, even if there's one too many break up and let shout at each other scenes that are strangely put together and resolved. The film moves at such a snail's pace for a large portion of it that when the big showdown comes in the action-packed third act, it feels like a different movie altogether. The one that it should have been, actually, because my goodness. That was awesome, crowd-pleasing action in nearly every way, except obviously edited down to PG-13. But the movie checks all the other stereotypical boxes. Underdeveloped villain, check. Shoddy VFX, check. Weak script, big check. Inconsistent editing, also check. And I kid you not, it probably has the worst example of a de-aging CGI character I've ever seen. I can appreciate what they were trying to do, but it looks so off. The final portion of the big showdown in the third act looks terrible. A bad location decision that doesn't make much sense logically, too much green screen, and effects that simply look unfinished, outdated, and sloppy. And yet, there's a freshness here with the genre and the grit of the movie, and the setting being a fictional city where it rains constantly, and noticeably outdated technology like cell phones play into it, I guess, but there's no explanation about it. However, it comes together in that third act in an engaging way, and I was invested in what was happening, and while it all ends entirely too abruptly with the payoff, not feeling as earned as it should, I'd watch a sequel. Big spoilers for the rest of this video, so if this is your warning, leave now if you want to watch the movie with unspoiled anything. Spoilers ahead. From the first line about two heroes in the beginning exposition dump that's kind of cool visually, like a comic book, about there being twins, I called that twist immediately. I literally said out loud, oh. Stallone's gonna be Nemesis, and Samaritan is gonna be the one that's dead. It's about as predictable as can be, and it's telegraphed from that very first scene and in multiple moments throughout the film. The whole movie should have been restructured around all of that being the big reveal. Show the big flashback fight fully. Give us what happened. Don't let us know that there were brothers until that third act, and then it would have really hit. And what the heck is that hate hammer even supposed to be? Not a lot of that makes sense, and it isn't fleshed out. And while that twist is obvious, I don't mind as much because it's executed so well in the moment. But not using those cool suits and those flashbacks that are edited to death across a bunch of different dreams and stuff? Come on, guys. I also appreciated some of the camera work when it wasn't being a bit over edited. There's in the third act, there's a long take with Stallone fighting a bunch of guys that I thought was pretty cool. And again, I'd watch a sequel or a prequel or any kind of follow up about these characters and appreciate the potential of where it has to go. However, Samaritan does feel like it got chopped to pieces in an editing room that left too much out or structured the story in a much less interesting way that plays its cards too early and it could have been revisited and really made it into something special and said it's just okay. It needed more action and less gang cliche but it's still enjoyable for the most part. An old friend of mine actually shared a scene with Stallone in this movie, he's in it, that also got chopped to pieces and his voice is left in briefly for one line. It's cool to hear, but it's sad to see that he was left out. From what he said in his review, it was to soften the rating to R from R to PG-13, an example of the overhead. And I agree, and the abruptness of that particular scene have any questioning why it was there at all. Bummer. There's a lot of scenes like that. But as someone who's a kind of an action movie, comic book movie aficionado, and who's also a big fan of superhero content, one of my actors happens to be Sylvester Stallone. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed seeing that Stallone still got it. I enjoyed those action moments and there was something a little bit different from what I expected, but I can't lie to you, I was hoping for a little bit more. It's not awful, it's not great, but it's okay. You'll have a decent time. And if you don't see the twist coming, that's awesome. I'm happy for you and I hope it shocks you. I wish I hadn't, because I do, I do feel like on paper that is a really neat concept and neat twist for the movie, where the hero that comes out of retirement actually isn't the hero at all, but the villain. That's engaging, I hope they do more with it. I give Samaritan three out of five stars. Thanks so much for watching. What did you think of Samaritan? Have you watched it yet? When you do, leave a comment below. Tell us what you think. Like the video, share, and please subscribe. And remember, as you watch, always look for the good.